Now that I'm more than just flirting with it, I want you to know firsthand that old age is not for sissies. I recently overheard a frail, angel-looking grandma say, because of my osteoporosis, my days of shooting from the hip are numbered. Osteoporosis literally means porous bone, and it's when the process of resorption of existing bone outpaces the formation of new bone. The term osteopenia means bone deficiency and is a mild form and a precursor of osteoporosis. As the bone density decreases, the risk of fracture increases. This bone loss begins in the early 30s and will ultimately impact over 50% of females and approximately 30% of males. It's a silent disease because it progresses with no symptoms, that is, until there is a fracture. It is responsible each year for millions of hip fractures and vertebral wrist and rib fractures worldwide. Osteoporosis is more dangerous than it may initially sound in that, depending on the location of the fracture, it can create a loss of mobility, a thrombosis or embolism, infection, chronic pain, pneumonia, and statistically approximately a 15% fatality rate within six months. Osteoporosis is not contagious, you don't catch it. There are, however, some built-in unavoidable risk factors such as a family history, advanced age, being of small stature, of Asian or European ancestry, and an estrogen or testosterone deficiency. Certain medications such as steroids like cortisone and prednisone, some thyroid medications, barbiturates, as well as antacids, add to the demineralization of bones. There are a number of medical conditions that are associated with osteoporosis, such as endocrine maladies, anorexia, kidney insufficiency, Parkinson's disease, hematologic and rheumatologic disorders, malnutrition, and any condition that causes prolonged immobilization of the body. Women who have gone through menopause or have had a hysterectomy experience an increase in bone loss. Now, there are a number of avoidable causes of osteoporosis that are worthy of our mentioning here. Some are rather obvious and would sabotage our general health. Things like smoking, excess alcohol, soft drink, caffeine, and sodium consumption are antagonistic to bone growth. Some factors may be so not so intuitive, such as being underweight, particularly if coupled with being inactive. Intense and endurance training, particularly in young females, suppresses the normal hormone secretion and can lead to decreased bone density. Diet is, of course, a major factor when it's deficient in the bone building blocks. Now, there's an interesting paradox. When it comes to protein, low protein diets have been linked to poor bone health, but conversely, diets that are too high, specifically in animal proteins, can disrupt normal calcium absorption. Now, I've given you some of the bad news, but there is good news in that the risk of osteoporosis can be substantially reduced by some fairly simple lifestyle changes. It's all about quality of life. Weight bearing and muscle strengthening activities are key in minimizing bone fragility as we advance in age. In general, the formula of at least 30 minutes of exercise four to six days a week should be sufficient. As a side benefit, staying active helps to maintain coordination and balance, diminishing the possibility of fractures from falls. Diet is huge. Ample sources of calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, and vitamin D should be emphasized. Green leafy vegetables, coconut and almond milk, and supplementation are helpful in fortifying your bones. Now, if you're taking some of the medications that have been mentioned here, work with your physician to see if there is a more healthy option. Now, you need to know that there's 206 bones in the mature adult body. They are the frame, support, and protection for vital organs and tissues. You don't, you don't want to be like the example of the well-known TV commercial that goes, Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Treat your bones right and they may just stick around for as long as you need them.